I do my venture page. Please subscribe and press the bell button for notification. Don't panic. It's organic. Well, uh, una, ay uh, magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. Uh, yung misis ko, uh, nung umuwi galing dito, ayaw nang bumalik sa akin. <laughs> Marami rin pasyalan dito. E sabi ko, kami sa akin ko ito dahil pangalawa ko nang punta sa Dumaguete. The last time I was here is in the Bayside. Uh, yung tourist spot doon, sa mga sa area doon. So anyway, I'm happy, Mayor. Thank you very much. Alagang partner yung pieces ko rito. Vice Mayor, thank you very much sa mga kusihal, department heads at uh, mga kapwa-kawani at lingkod bayan. Uh, maraming maraming salamat sa mainit ninyong pagtanggap. This is our second day. Uh, tomorrow will be third here in Negros. Buong Negros. No? Nakailang bayan na kami. Kani-kanila lang. Nandun kami sa isang bayan pa sa dulong bayan ng kapilang uh, probisya. But then, again, I'm happy to be here. And you know, sabi ko sa kanila, kanina meron akong binibigay na tip kila Jopet, nasa helicopter kami. Sabi ko kay John, tapos yung pag-landing natin sa Dumaguete, maraming maganda rin. <laughs> oh, sabi ko sa kanila, kasi hindi na sila binubol eh. Kaya pag natin mamaya, sa motorcade, tingnan mo yung mukha ng mga kababayan sa Dumaguete. Magaganda ilong. <laughs> At hindi lang yun. This is, I think, if I may put it in right perspective, this is the center of excellence in education in Visayas region. So, because of your university and most of the time, all my life, in public service in Manila, I'm happy to host your barrister. Uh, they come every year in Manila uh, for four weeks long, no? four uh, weeks na magbabar examination sila at nakikita ko yung inyong mga estudyante. And uh, congratulations because you've been producing good quality graduates. And uh, in our own little way, may awa ang Diyos, sa tulong ninyo, si Lejong and Jopet at yung aking partner na si Doc Willie na nasa Bohol ngayon. No, kasama naman si Samira Guto at saka si Carl Manita. Now, again, we will support best, high, good, quality education. I do believe in education. In fact, I'm a product of public education system. I was just uh, unfortunate, uh, hindi lang ako pinala na magkaroon ng bintong kutsara sa bibig na magula. Uh, dahil ang namin ko is from uh, summer na pumunta ng Manila na kasambahay sa isang pamilya ng abogado. Yung tatay ko naman is from Antik, San Jose, Antique. And kaya ako talaga, uh, while it is true, when you see me, Tagalog na Tagalog, dahil hindi uh, nyo masisili. Uh, ako pinanganak sa tundo, nag-aral sa tundo, lumaki sa tundo, basulero sa tundo, sa tundo sa tundo, nakapag-artista sa tundo. <laughs> Tapos naglingkod sa tundo, all my life is in Manila. But I cannot deny my roots. I am 100% pure-blooded Isaya. Because of my roots from Sama, and Antique. So, rest assured that tourism industry also will be our subject of priority because social scientists and economists will agree with me that every tourist that arrives, it creates one job. And we have to catch up. We've lost 4.2 billion jobs in the entire country. And I think the Magente can sell a lot of things in terms of tourism. Kaya, kung manantag kayo, ang kailangan ko lang chance sa opportunity to be of service to you. And the way Manila took a chance to me. 
You know, in Manila, they never voted the young mayor. Remember, in our history, when you see the walls of what we call the Hall of, of Fame, you never see a young mayor. But we deteriorated through the years of neglect or maybe inefficiency. But uh, they took a chance, gamble on me, elected me as mayor. And hopefully by this time, I hope we have some family, friends in Manila, go ask them. I hope I did not pay 2.6 million Manilaians in delivery, efficient, casino, marina, and efficient in We revived the city of Manila, the capital of the country, and the window of opportunity. And I hope I'll be given opportunity also in the entire country. While it is known that I'm still young, thank you very much. If you see it that way. But I've been in the government service for the past 24 years. And this did not happen overnight. We say hard, we say hard, we say hard. Vice mayor, vice mayor, vice mayor. Mayor. So all my life, half of it, is dedicated to public service. So they are not provide, you know, let's bring back the true golden age of our country when we elected a 46 years old president. When I say true golden age, I think some of us here in Abutio during the time of President Ramon Magsaysay. He got elected at the age of 43, 43, and we recovered past the ruins of war, chaos. Dahil bata, mabilis, makisi, makamahal sa kapwa. Now, he got elected at the age of 46, mga kapapaya, ito si Dominic Ete, ako po ay 47 years old. All of it's worth mentioning. But then again, all I need is a chance in all the field of undertaking that I took. You know, whether bilang basurero, I accept. Whether bilang sidecar boy, I accept. Being an actor, I accept. Being in public service, let the people, you know, sila na lang mamusga, but they keep on electing me. Being top notch and giving me so much money in every election, Every challenges. In fact, in the last election, we made history. Three serious corner fight. I got 51 percent of the Monday of the city of I hope that means something to you in terms of value in character. While it is true that I'm young, but don't worry. If it is a disadvantage, I will make use of disadvantage to our advantage. I will be with you during the challenging times and I'll work day and night the way we did it in Manila, especially under pandemic and uncertainty in the world. You go up there to be open to you. At the heart of the mga bagay na nangyari sa Manila, kaya gawin sa buong bansa. It is scalable, it's duplicable, and doable. Simple governance. MBN, minimum basic needs. Housing, education, healthcare, jobs. Now, we have incoming and continuing challenges. Last week, six pesos. This week, 15 pesos. And I don't know if you heard it, but five months ago, we're talking about cutting of taxes of oil and electricity. I don't know if you saw already the ads that is going to happen if I'm going to be given a My son, Muna, to cushion the socioeconomic impact to the lives of every Filipino families with regard to the impact of the pandemic and uncertainty in the world the external challenges. So rest assured, I'm here before you today 
Kung wala pa kayong napupusuan, pwede bang pumasok sa puso ninyo? Pwede ba isa natin na? Nang huwag yung maagaw ng ibang. Then, the home, you can help us. I need your help. I need your help. I have to be fair to you. I have an appeal bottle because I'm going again. Every life, turning point. Every turning point of my life. I'm always facing giants. Giants of this world. In fact, ang kalabang na talaga yung eh, napaka mga sikap, bibigat na tao, mga pedigree, uh, German shepherd, <laughs> ako po yung askal. But don't worry, may rapis ako. But you know, if you're going to vote for me, and don't really, I hope you don't mind me asking two months, please, magpabasa kayo sa ulang nang dumami pa kayo dito. Dahil kailangan po ng lahat ang uri ng dito. I do believe that there is God. Wala naman siguro mabigat na kasalanan ng ating bansa para ipagpagawal tayo sa mga future leader na maaaring ipagpagawala din. Then again, this is democracy. I'm taking this chance and opportunity to ask for your help. Kung dumagete, to vote for dumagoso. Hindi mo dumagoso, saan si dumagete? Sa si Eddie. Di ba pwede? Mas sikat ang is. So anyway, again, if you're going to help me, then let me take this again, this opportunity to thank each and every one of you. I, I will not pay you. And I get things done. That is my community. It may not be a perfect government, but I do get things done. The results matter to me. Challenges will be confronted. There will be no perfect solution, but we always find ways. Parang video lang. Maraming maraming salamat uh, sa inyong lahat. Pagpalaan na lang kayo. Ngayon, uh, maraming salamat. Guys, maraming salamat. Pag-ibig kayo. I love you.